How you doing? This is Doug with FingersOnTheFrets.com. Today we're going to work on one of my favorite tunes to play. It's uh, Babylon by David Gray. This is off of his famous album called White Ladder. If you're not familiar with David Gray, um, you should look it up. It's a fantastic record. To me it was like with, uh, the perfect blending of acoustic guitar, singer-songwriter stuff with some uh, programmed drum machine things and uh, especially on this tune. Um, it's just a fantastic record. Always, always a great listen. Um, there's two versions of the song that he did. Um, one was at the beginning of the record, one was at the end of the record. So I kind of merged whatever I liked from the uh, different versions and kind of made up my own uh, arrangement of the tune. So I'm going to try to make sure you can see the, the neck here. Um, I use capo one. Uh, it's easier for me to sing that way. So you, uh, you can play it any way you want. Kind of like a D major 7 to G major 7, which again, if you go to my site, the videos are free, but you can purchase um, my arrangements. You know, This one is, happens to be six pages long, um, some of them are shorter or longer, they're a couple bucks, but it, it's really nice to have the sheet music, um, and incidentally, I, I pay all the rights and fees to uh, all the performing rights organizations, so I'm doing this legally, thank you very much. Um, the first one here, it goes like this. This is the, the little lick I come up with. And sometimes I go to the A string. It sounds a little bit better there. So the trick is to have that D note. Well, it's actually... E flat in this case because of the capo, but you understand what I mean. Um, see how that note's hanging over into the G, G major seven chord. So there's your G major seven chord. Okay, so he kind of goes. Friday night I'm going nowhere. All the lights are changing green to red. I'm turning all the TV stations. The situation's running through my head. Time, you know it's clear that I've been blind, I've been fool. And kind of, kind of like that, you know. And then, okay, then the band kicks in. I think he probably does the same thing, but again, if you know me, <laughs> uh, I'm doing acoustic arrangements. What I like to do is kind of jazz up the parts here, and that's why we've had so much success at Fingers on the Frets because my arrangements aren't just you know your stock kind of thing. So. Uh, during the verses here, this would be considered verse 2 when the band comes in. Um, I'm sorry. So, 1, two, and, and 4, and 1, 2, and, and 4, and 1, 2, and. So comes in. Okay, so there's that. Then the chorus, I changed the rhythm even one more time. I went like this. That's why there's that little bit of a pause. We do have a dotted eighth to a sixteenth in beat two, so you gotta watch that. Um, so here's the chorus. If you wanna come get it, cry out loud. Nothing I was giving you was never in doubt. A little build there. Babylon. Babylon. 
So, again, pop song. Not super difficult if you just wanted to strum the chords, but if you want to do it like this, making it sound like there's something actually happening rhythmically and change the parts where you've got like a picking figure at the first part. And verse 2 is where I kind of came in with the uh, eighth note strum pattern. And then in verse, I'm sorry, in the chorus, we've got a, um, a bit of a 16th note with a tie and things like that. Why do I do this? Well, because if you're playing uh, the guitar by yourself and there's no band or you just want to make it sound cool if you don't have like an ensemble, you have to do something to make it sound more interesting. So, dynamics and changes in how you play the chords. So, for instance, here's a D to G, D major 7 to G major 7. So, here's the riff. And that's kind of like what he did in there. It's just my little... Um, then... Um, same two chords, but you can hear now. Now, when you do the percussive sound, a lot of my students get uh, tripped up, but it's, don't have to think too much about it. It's a real feel thing here. Sometimes if I can, I collapse over here to make sure there's no sound. This one, I can't collapse because I've got some open strings, so I'm going to make a real nice, kind of like that, you know. So really kind of, if you're not going slowly and really understanding what's happening here, it's not going to feel right. So again, fingersonthefrets.com, uh, do a search for Babylon. All the videos are free. There's lots of pop tunes, finger style, all kinds of neat stuff in there. Um, I appreciate it if you go over there. It's probably going to be on YouTube as well. But at the website, you can download for just a few measly dollars um, the sheet music. This one happens to be six pages. Tablature, and then you can actually see what's happening. Challenge yourself. Um, don't be afraid. I'll help you through it. This is Doug. Fingersonthefrest.com. I hope to see you again soon. Thanks.